Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, me Africa. We back with another one. A hey, uh, we thought would be an interesting conversation for uh, those uh, African Americans or Americans that's moving out of the uh, country. And I'm gonna just be direct. Really, a lot of the African Americans that's moving to Africa. I'm gonna just be direct. Um, but this can apply to all. But because we're African channel, LME Africa, um, and we usually talk about our travels, um, so we came up with this. Move to Africa, stay in America, or both. Or both. And so we're going to cover that. We're going to talk about, um, yeah, why we would consider staying in Africa, what would make us not want to stay in Africa, what would make us want to stay here. I think one of the things that um, would get people to want to move to Africa would be the safety. A lot of people think that it's not safe in Africa. We were in Gambia. Like one experience of the safety is being able to walk outside in the dark um, without being afraid that somebody's gonna attack you or mug you or, or do something to you. Because there are plenty of times me and and we walked down the street in the pitch black and there's people coming towards us, walking towards us and we just walked by and nothing happened. Late at night. Oh yeah, yeah, late, late, late. But yeah, no, it, you felt, we walking in the dark with lights, everybody cut their phone lights on just to see in some areas where there's no, you know, lights. Might be some on the street, but when you tucking off into a neighborhood or something like that or your apartment or something, it might get a little dark. And yeah, it's just, People just laughing and, and, and just walking and doing what they got to do. It, it feels safer. You know, I could I could truly say that being even far from home, culture shock, barely, you know, knowing some of the languages, um, not really knowing the money system, just so many different things, it still felt safer. Just safe, I should say that. So, yeah, safety will be one. They don't have their guns. They're not allowed to have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No guns. That's the number one thing. No guns. Uh, I don't care. Knife. A knife is dangerous, too, but I'd rather have a knife fight with somebody than a gun fight because, you, you know. But I, I would, yeah, you just, yeah. It just, the whole, actually, their whole, just their demeanor, you know. Um, they're not trying to hurt one another. We, we look mean at other people and here in America. We look mean at people and they look mean at us and we, we think it's a problem automatically instead of, they don't think that way. The problem will occur if a problem occur. Other than that, they're going to treat your, their brother, you know, pretty much with respect. So. Yeah. So then another reason to move to Africa is say the food. Um, yeah. A lot of people say the food over there is natural. We experienced it over there. Um, I bought some um, potatoes, onions, green peppers, and um, some was it cilantro or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, usually when I have them sitting out on the counter, or if I have a potato sitting out, it's, it lasts forever. I have potatoes in there right now that are just still, I bought those a couple weeks ago and they still look normal. Yeah. <laughs> but over there, when I set it on the counter, it was like shriveled up within like a few days. Yeah. And yeah. the cool thing about it is when I cooked all of it up, because I cooked it up and I made eggs, and that's another thing, the eggs, they don't put the, they don't refrigerate their eggs because they have a different process. But um, when I cooked it all up, it was very flavorful. Like it was very hard to find seasonings in the stores um, because they cook usually with the, the fresh herbs and things. Um, but uh, it was very flavorful. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and the food's very good. Absolutely, even just like something basic like French fries. <laughs> it was French fries, good. Just something as simple as the French fry. But no, the, even the chicken melted in your mouth. Uh, yeah, and look, we ate a lot, and the pounds were still melting out of, off of us. Now I don't, it might have been because we were we were doing a lot of walking. Yeah. It was hot, and we was doing a lot of walking, but. We were eating up a storm. We always eat when we go places, and the, we were still like, I was slimming up there, you know. And it didn't weigh you down when you did eat, because I know here you can eat some food and you just have to just sit down for a long time. And I don't even feel good when I eat out a lot. But over there, it was like we would go to a certain restaurant, local restaurants, and we would get like this finishing dish or dome whatever. That's what they have, peanut butter, you know, rice and 
whatever, fish, chicken, yeah. and it wasn't weighing. And it's like, we're just eating and it's just really good. Even here, when we eat like to Indian place, whatever, it's the same. It's almost yeah. the same, you, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of veggies involved in a lot of foreign dishes, a lot mm -hmm. of vegetables, even Mexican, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of vegetables. Yeah. So yeah, no, that was that was uh that would have made us yeah, that safety, food, yeah, and what yeah. else? Well the one thing I wanted to say about the food is what I've noticed and I don't know if it's gonna make people say, Oh, that's nasty, but this is really what happens when you go to the bathroom, you do number two, it smells like trash. Like straight up trash. <laughs> and like is I've never experienced that here in America. It's like the the food is is maybe more real and it's supposed to smell that way it's when it comes up. out. Over here is just like basic. I don't know. It it, it was totally different. Yeah, it <laughs> all the preservatives to preserve something. And when you boo, -boo they want to preserve that. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I hear it don't smell the, here. Yeah, and something <laughs> about look, for men. Oh yeah 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 for men and. uh I heard uh, 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 Unapologetic Nomads, the guy that's on there, I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot your name, my brother, peace out to you. But I heard you mention this, that your the flow, your flow, um, when you, you know, doing number one as a man, um, when especially an older man, sometimes you have a couple of streams kind of flowing out at once. And um, I don't know if it could be prostate, it could be just getting older, whatever, but over there, it was a flow. It was a solid flow. It wasn't multiples one one nice stream like it should so um it's only you know i don't i don't know it was different i know I, when he said that I, I noticed that myself when i when he said that and uh we were there i noticed the same thing it was, it, so it's to me it's something that's it's got to be the food it's got to be the food yeah. so okay oh yeah another reason to move to africa the people all right very nice especially in gambia um they're very welcoming it's not a guardedness of, of people like they'll stare at you like when i first got there i had to tone down my american side because i was wondering why is this girl staring at me she was staring at me the, the whole time when we got to the airport <laughs> when we drove off the shuttle and got into the airport she was just staring and i smiled at her and she didn't smile back she was just staring and then I think what she was doing was just trying to read, who am I? You know, who is this person? Because when we finally got in the airport and everything, she did all that staring and she finally smiled and she was done staring. Like, I guess she had to read, figure who I was or I don't know, it was different. But to me, you know, if you're staring at somebody here in America, it's like, you, you wanna, you know, ask me what's wrong, you wanna fight. You know, yeah, why are you absolutely. looking at me? Yeah, what you looking at? <laughs> That's yeah. what they have somebody might do. What you looking at? But over there, the people, they're just really welcoming. And sometimes that could be a good thing or, or a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could, everybody moving, hustle and bustle. You could bump somebody, you bump them, you keep going. You know, here you bump somebody, you might get shot or they're going to turn around. Y'all both turn around and look at each other crazy. Bumping means, okay, it's crowded here. You bump me. We bumped into each other. And we should with the, these many people out. Um, but they don't look back like that. If they're... Yeah, they're not thinking that. They're not even thinking violence. Like, violence is like, yeah, yeah. that's the last yeah. thing on their mind. Yeah, and they can be too friendly. Like, the, the men, they're, like, really friendly, friendly. Like, um, and it could be seen as to another man as, like, disrespectful, maybe. Because I know that here in America, especially if I'm with another guy, even with my husband, if we encounter another man, usually he's talking to my husband. He's not talking to me. He's not looking at me. He's talking to him. Over there, they're like looking at you, and they're like, hey, oh, yeah. how you doing? And then they want to touch, you know, grab your hand, and I'm like... Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's okay to talk. It's okay to speak to both if we're, you know, we're speaking, whatever. But, yeah, they're a little, they super extra. <laughs> they real extra, man. <laughs> they, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I heard somebody else say, too, they had a... a I forgot who said this. Somebody that was in Gambia that that uh, got a YouTube channel and they were saying that if you ain't if your relationship ain't strong, don't go. <laughs> don't go to Gambia. Yeah, because a lot of them African cats, man, they aggressive. Not disrespectful, aggressive either. They'll be very nice. They won't even 
they'll be real nice and, and, and nice and right up out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, like, ladies, if you're going, you will probably fall for one of them just because they're. It's not the same as it is over here. Yeah, no, they're, they're very just. They're fun. real less aggressive. Real yeah. less aggressive. That was one thing I said. That that's another thing. I'm gonna add that to this. That. I, I said that when we were there. I said, I could use some of this. I could use some chill. Because they be chilling like a champ. We be moving around and we just mad about everything. And uh, yeah, they're very soft spoken and everything. I could use some of that, that peace and that get rid of some of this anger and stuff that we have to have here. Yeah, yeah. They're very slow paced. You don't feel like in a rush. Nobody's rushing you to do something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely ain't rushing. Yeah, yeah, and it can irritate us as Americans. It can be irritating because we're so used to flying through and hurrying up and, you know, let us know when you're getting here and it might be different, but over there, but yeah, it's, it's nice and calm. Yeah. So that is one reason, another reason to, to move to Africa. Yeah, to move to Africa, yeah. Uh, another one is uh, it's pretty cheap over there. But it, but um, it's a sneaky cheap though. It's a sneaky cheap because like, well, if you know how to move with American money, you really, oh yeah, it's, it's cheap, cheap as I don't know what. But if you go over there as a tourist and you pay tourist price and tourists where you live at and everything like that, oh, it'll, it'll add up quick. It'll add up very, very quick. But um, but yeah, if you do it the African way, um, you can go a long way with. You could probably go a long way with um, twenty-five thousand dollars. You get over there, you get you do it right. You you could be there almost for a year or so, a couple of years. I know more than that, cause yeah, you could be there for about five or ten years off twenty-five thousand dollars if you do it right. Yeah, you have to do it right. Yeah, yeah. you eat right or cook or buy your stuff on the side of the road, but you pay your place up for a year. Yeah. You know, you pay your place up for a year, a, a decent place, what might cost you for a whole year about, what, $1,000? Who said, like, 5000 That was for, like, a mansion when we saw a mansion. Yeah, it was a yeah. mansion. But what if you got, like, a little nice apartment? A little, uh, like, a little, like, like apartment like Abdul. Abdul, like, Abdul said, he was paying $30 a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Some of them... So you get something out. like that, you know the people, you feel comfortable. You know, um, get something like that. You pay thirty dollars a month, or something better than that that you could pay ahead. And maybe if a mansion five thousand, let's just say a nice apartment would be like um, for the year, maybe half that or something. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. If you twenty five. I don't do math. Do so yeah, but yeah, but anyway, it, it's reasonable. It's reasonable, and then it depends on the level. You got more money, you're gonna live better or whatever. But um. I say retired or coming with money, right? Because you really can't mm -hmm. work there. It'd yeah. It'd be hard to work there. And um, with the money thing, you will have to know someone that can teach you about what things really cost. And and we'll get into that later. But uh, yeah, what things really cost. Once you know a loco and they're like, hey, this is what this really costs. This is what you asked for. Then you can live the way that they're living. And and eat in the local areas. Oh, you can, you can eat a we're talking about a whole dinner for a dollar, dollar yeah. twenty-five that we paid for a whole dish. Yeah, and know? a pop. Yeah, and a pop with yeah. it, and and mm -hmm. it was full, like a whole full dish. Like you're gonna eat, be full if you eat it all, or you're gonna not be able to eat it all, like a real grandma dish. And it tastes better too because it has that village personal uh, appeal to it, and that just that realness. You know, it's not dumbed down. A lot of times you go to tourist places. You know they dumb it down a little bit. Yeah. It's not as authentic. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, man. It's 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 a lot of reasons. What's another one? Uh, uh, to stay? stay. The weather. Yeah, the weather in some some parts of the year. Um, if you're sick, like we're in Michigan, in this weather, you never know what you're gonna get most of the time. It's just you know, in, in the summertime, it could you don't know when summer starts. Like right now, okay, summer's starting, but it might it might snow next week. You know, it's just different things. Seasons. Their season is like hot and then rainy season. And I think it's still hot during rainy season in Gambia, at least. Um, it was sunny most of the days we were there, the yeah. majority. And the days that we didn't see the sun, it was because the desert, the Sahara Desert or something, or whatever desert, had that, you know, that 
dust storm that yeah. went over all the countries and we couldn't see the sun then but when it cleared out it was sunny every day mm -hmm. and it was in the 90s and their 90s are a little bit different than at least here in Michigan the 90s you know uh, 90 got up to 98 is the highest I saw and it wasn't like humid it wasn't a humid when we were there so. no no it wasn't no it wasn't humid it was like a California uh, it reminded me of California kind of yeah. cool at night a little mm -hmm. cool in the morning, yeah, and then it gets hot. Yeah, you need a jacket and a hoodie at night, yep. which is weird. Night and the morning, kind of brisk, and then it, when it heats up, it heats up. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. yeah, that's that's weather. Is yeah, weather will be a reason. Another reason to move to Africa is the cheap medical. Uh, there's people going over there, um, getting their teeth done, way cheap. Oh yeah, um, they're getting root canals for about what? I don't know how much they're getting it done, but I know that it's cheap. Thirty-five bucks. Less than a hundred dollars, I know that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. that uh, one YouTuber? She was saying that um, thirty-five dollars or fifty bucks or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That and would be like five hundred yeah. here, wouldn't it? For yeah. a canal, about mm -hmm. five. Might have went up. It was five fifty a couple yeah. of years ago. And getting glasses. Um, people are getting glasses over there real cheap. Um, like our friend, um, when he went to the doctor and he said that he had a, an x-ray, I think he said he paid six dollars for the x-ray mm -hmm. or something like that. You know, this is my x-ray of my my stomach, you know, six dollars. Man, the x-rays, we pay a lot for x-rays. You have to have insurance or something to have the x-rays. Absolutely. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's very um, cheap to get things medically, so medically done there. Those are some of the reasons to move to Africa. To move to Africa, yeah. Uh, that's about that's about it because yeah, that's about it. Um, the main thing. The main thing. Yeah, that was, and actually, those are good things. I think it's more peace over there if you learn the system. You definitely can have more peace, a peace of mind. You know, uh, yeah.